Hey guys, how's everybody doing? This feels a little bit too much like stand-up, unfortunately, and I'm not good at that stuff. Sorry. Uh, do we have any parents here? Any, anybody have kids? I'm sorry. I'm right there with you. Um, so uh, I started How to Be a Dad with another guy. He couldn't be here tonight. He, uh, I think he has agoraphobia or something. He has this, like, this disorder where he takes off all his clothes and attacks groups of people, so um, I d thought he should stay home. Um, but he's not going to be here tonight. His name's Andy. Uh, but I wanted to tell you about our website a little bit and then also talk about that struggle, that journey that we uh, have been through. We're, uh, we're uh, an entertainment site for parents, for non-parents, and people who have parents and people who don't want to have kids, basically. So that pretty much covers, I think, everybody, right? Hopefully. Um, so what we do is we have a lot of viral strategies. We create some fun stuff. We're sort of a dad blog but we're a little bit more than that, so we create uh, fun diagrams and things like that. Um, we started April Fool's Day of 2011, which is uh, your first takeaway. Do not launch a business on April Fool's Day. Um, we, uh, we did a, a celebration, the one-year anniversary celebration, and that did not go well. We pretended like we played an April Fool's joke. And, um, so this is my son, Finn. He is uh, the next Banksy, I think. He's doing a pretty good job there um, with his sippy cup. Uh, so Finnegan um, is really my, sort of, the impetus for me creating the site. Uh, initially, it was me wanting to create something for my son, and then it sort of evolved into something bigger than that. So uh, my father was a, a radio disc jockey and a writer, and a um, much better writer than I am. And uh, it, it sort of came from that. I was making video journals and writing to him directly. Um, and uh, so that's where it all sort of came about. But I started it with this other guy. Um, who, uh, yeah, if you want to go on the next one. Actually, let me show you my wife. That's, uh, that's Andy, <laughs> naked, blogging. I guess that's how he rolls. Um, whatever creatively fulfills you, I guess, right? Um, anyway, uh, that's really frightening me. Could we move off that one, actually? <clears throat> anyway, um, so we started, uh, and immediately we got some cool traction. People started paying attention to what we were doing. I should probably stop doing that. Um, we got some good traction. We started growing, uh, doubling our traffic every month, um, and it was really exciting. It, it's actually the most, um, it, it happened the faster than anything else that I've, that I've ever done, and it was really fulfilling, too, because as a new father, um, I didn't realize what a community of online parents there were, and there's a lot of moms uh, in, in the main, but uh, dad blogging uh, has been around for a long time. There's been a lot of dads talking about stuff, um, but we're still nascent and we're still growing and what we wanted to do is create a site that we wanted to be a part of and that we would want to read. So that's sort of our, our, the big, one of the big takeaways from the journey so far is that we needed to create something we were both passionate about but also something that we wanted to see, something we wanted to deliver, something that we would want to be a part of. Um, so yeah, this weird guy, uh, I talked to him, we interviewed me, which was really weird, um, Mario, and uh, we had a really good time. I mean, we. Um, he caught us very early on and, and, um, and was very complimentary and, and it, was, it was just strange because in this town you hear no so much that for something to actually work and work well and start to like blossom was strange. And I don't know if you've ever had the experience where you get a yes and you're kind of like startled by it. That's how it's been. Um, so uh, we're really, so here's a, a diagram that we did. <clears throat> I don't know if you know this but zombies and babies are the exact same thing. Um, <laughs> I'll just read you a couple. Uh, messy eater, no sense of right and wrong, bent on destruction, speaks and moans and screams, etc. cetera. So this, uh, this one went viral on Reddit. I don't know if we have any Redditors here tonight, but you don't have to raise your hands because it's, yeah, undercover. Um, <laughs> so there are some here. Um, but uh, this went viral on Reddit and crashed our site. Uh, for two weeks. We couldn't get our site back up, so we were like, yay! <laughs> Pretty much the entire time. Um, uh, if you want to go to the next one. And then, you know, we came up with, like, fake product ideas. <sighs> now, I, didn't, I did not know that Saturday Night Live had already done this before. We were like, oh, great, genius. We're such geniuses, thong diapers, yay. Uh, but, and then people started yelling at us and saying we were bad and like, or, and then people actually, yesterday uh, we got an, an order to buy these from us, so I don't, I'm going to send that right on to the authorities. Um, uh, and then we had to do a follow-up. Because really, this guy, 
I mean, he, he whines, he pouts for bottles and breasts, his mom, credits mom for everything. You know, the w bright colored clothing, self-obsession. So, um, so this is another one we did, but um, the main thing that we wanted to do was we, we were tired of uh, being talked to in a way that was a th like someone was being the authority. We were tired of the authoritarianism, if that's a word. The authority sort of telling us, like, if you don't do this with your kids, you're going to ruin your kids. You, um, so we wanted to sort of push back on that, and we created... Uh, that is a tranquilizing dart for toddlers. I don't recommend it unless you have a crazy toddler, which is every one of them. Um, but essentially, uh, we created this stuff to sort of push back on that. And how to be a dad is, it, we were trying to be ironic, because really, we're just, we're just trying to make it, make it happen, just, make, just do it well enough. Um, yeah, if you want to go to the next one. But then, um, yeah, that's, that's me, by the way. So we started, this was actually a filler diagram that we did um, just for fun. And we're like, ah, oh, it's not going to do anything. You know, maybe people will, like, who co-sleep with their babies will. By the way, most hate mail from these right here that we are going to kill our kids if we sleep with them, et cetera. I am not going to talk about that here. I'm going to let you make that decision yourself. Um, but these actually went more viral than anything we've ever done. Um, it went on Facebook. It's been translated into 10 languages. Um, and it's insane. And we actually uh, are now, we have a book deal with a big publisher because of, if you want to go to the next one, uh, these 10 of the diagrams that we did. So you've got uh, jazz hands. You've got the stalker. The I'm not speaking to you. Booby trap. Neck scarf. Roundhouse kick, which was an homage to uh, Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. Because I got kicked a lot in the face, personally. Um, but H is for hell is another good kidney shot. You should get some Kevlar vests if you have the H is for hell. Um, but the, the main thing I wanted to tell you about was cr um, being a part of and creating community. Uh, if you guys want to come up and look at these, we can do one by one, maybe. Sort of Donkey Kong, my personal favorite down there. Um, yeah, if you want to go to the next one. <sighs> um, but the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was community and installing yourself into a community. Um, we, in that nine-month period that we took to develop the site, um, I handle the social media and marketing, and I knew the most important thing to me was being a part of the parenting community, being a part of the, the niche community that you're going to be doing business in. Um, and for us, it wasn't as much business as it was just being a part of a movement. Fathers now are at a point where there's a little bit of a revolution. Um, you know, for a long, long time, there's a sense that there was like the perfect father that, you know, really wasn't around, didn't talk to you, only talked to you when they had to sort of a thing. And you saw that a lot in the media. And then the, the reaction of that came, and it was like the dumb dad, the dad who messed everything up, was an idiot, you know, sort of through the late 80s, you had like, you know, the Ted Bundys and these type of people. Um, so marketers now are really confused about how to market to men and fathers because they're either going to do one or the other. And we wanted to sort of tell people that, you know, there's, a lot, there's more self-definition now in parenting, and you don't have to take it so seriously that you want to just kill yourself every night because you're ruining your child, you know? Because it's so easy to get there and do that. Um, so this is uh, a graph on Twitter. We now have uh, 100,000 Twitter followers, which is mind-numbing and weird to me. Um, but at a certain point, because we were interacting so much with the community, um, Twitter decided to, if you want to go to the next one, uh, put us on their who to follow list. We started getting like 800 followers a day, and we were like, what the hell is going on? Um, but because, and I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know everything about Twitter and the, the algorithm that curates and chooses who's on that list, but I have to think it's because we were, I was tweeting like a crazy person to as many parents as I could about, not about our blog, but just about life and uh, being a part of, of a community and really understanding that. So for nine months, before we even had the blog launched, we, uh, we set up, you know, all the social platforms and were there and communicating. Um, and that was really helpful. Um, so it's really good to understand, you know, about each platform and how each of them can sort of serve and service you, but also what you can serve the community with. Um, and also understand how each platform sort of has its own viral style. Like uh, Twitter is different than Facebook. You know, uh, Twitter is much more like hydrogen where it just explodes and goes crazy and then it's gone, whereas Facebook has a little bit more of a long tail. 
Um, but remember that if you put content out on the internet, the thing I had to learn the hard way, um, if you want to go to the next one, um, was, um, uh, oh God. So uh, I, did a, I did an article for Huffington Post called Why Won't My Wife Have Sex With Me? <clears throat> which should be fine, but then I started, uh, then AOL, who owns uh, Huffington Post, decided to pick it up and put it on its front page with my uh, blue steel photo. <clears throat> so that was good times, but um, you just have to, we had to, at a certain point, come to grips with the fact that, like, people are going to see this and it's going to exist beyond us, and my son's going to see this, and so it has definitely, um, I still eviscerate myself for the website and the blog, but I also have to understand that I have uh, an effect and that this stuff will be around forever. So how much, how are we doing on time? We, we good? We good? Sweet, okay. Do, should we move to questions? Anyway, um, so thank you for listening to me blab on about my crazy bullshit up here. Appreciate that. And um, I also want to just tell people um, one thing about parents and what's happening. There are uh, a ton of, you know, a ton of parent blogs but even if you're not a parent and have no desire to have uh, kids, it's a great place to learn and understand what parents go through uh, and also understand what your parents went through with you and give you some perspective. Um, there are a lot of amazing dad bloggers specifically. Um, you know, there's a lot of great moms too, but being in the, the, uh, the community that I'm a part of as a dad blogger, there are some amazing, amazing stories, uh, and it might sort of shift you're thinking about uh, your parents and, and the, the idea of bringing up kids. So thanks. Thanks for that.